Uh, we have a great one today. One of my favorite movements is uh, the Turkish get up. So we're going to do about 16 of those total reps and then cherry pick yourself a little bit. Wait, what? The post here. How many? Six, 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 How many? Ten at first and then six at the end. One six? Yes, one six. One six total reps. So for this Turkish get up, uh, for those of you that are at home, if you go on to Waterfly, you'll see a leap on how to do it. Uh, for those of us on live right now, we're going to actually go through it. So everyone go ahead and lay down. I'm going to walk you through one nice and slow. I'm going to walk you through one nice and slow, and then you guys can finish the remaining nine. Okay? So what I want you guys to do is lay flat on the ground, hands at a 45 degree angle to your side. Good. Perfect. And now from here, what I want you guys to do is get that right arm and drive it straight forward out in front of your chest. Elbows locked out, palm facing the ceiling. Okay, with that right arm up, that means that your right knee is going to go up as well. So right knee and that foot flat on the ground. Perfect. All right, here we go. If everyone is in this position, let me just make sure. All right, looks good. From here, all I want you guys to do is do a sideways sit up onto your elbow that's on the ground. Yes. As you do that, you want to make sure that your palm at all times is pointing straight towards the ceiling. There we go. Now from here what you want to do is that elbow that's on the ground, you just want to extend it and lock it out. So go ahead and just drive up. Elbow locked out. Perfect. Now you want to get into that bridge. So you're going to drive that hip up. Good. Hold that bridge. And then that foot that's out in front of you, just slide it behind you and you're going to end up in a sideways lunge. Beautiful. Everyone's got it. Good. Palm directly up. Good. Now you just want to bring that chest up so you're in a regular lunge. Still looking up. And then stand up. Linda, there we guy. go. Good work. All right. Yes. Very nice good. work. All right. Get back to that finishing position because you're not done. You got to bring it back down. Reverse lunge. Good. Palm on the ground. Drive that leg behind you to the front. You're in a bridge now. Butt on the ground. Elbow on the ground. Back on the ground. There you go. That's the movement right there. We did this weightless. You're going to do another nine reps. You can choose to do it weightless again, or you can grab an object, a ball, a lacrosse ball, a baseball, something just to hold that weight up overhead. All right. Okay, go ahead and finish your 10 reps. Here, put this on the three plus one. Do you understand? And that's good to say? Mm -hmm. Huh? If you want, you need your ball at least. Yep, there you go. Total of 10 reps, so five per R. Good. Focus on that shoulder mobility as you're doing this, okay? You want to make sure that you're Palm is at all times, 100% of the time, pointing directly up into that ceiling. So that means that you're going to have to move that, that rotator cuff and that shoulder into different positions. Okay? That's what makes this movement a little bit difficult. As well as a lot of core stability. Hold your breath on the tougher movements. Exhale on the easier movements. are so sore from yesterday. Yeah. 
Alright. Alright. We're gonna do another set of six on this if you want to grab a little bit of weight for that one afterwards. Uh, okay. Alright. Looks like our athletes in here are done. Let me see our athletes at home. Uh, looks like they're finishing up as well. Very good. I don't know if Linda's just taking a break or she's done, but... <laughs> Alright, next movement that we're going to go to is the very picker. We're taking this back to elementary school, back to Little League. Um, this, although it is a strange movement, it's actually very good to warm up that posterior chain lower back. So what I want you guys to do to initiate this movement is just reach up overhead as far as you can. Good. And then what you're going to do is you're going to... Uh, Get three targets down on the ground. So one about six inches in front of you, one directly between your legs, and then one about six inches behind you. Okay? You're gonna come all the way back up and you're gonna do it again for a total of 20 reps. Okay? So bend down, six inches right beneath you, and then six inches behind you, and then reach all the way up to the sky again. So get that deep stretch in that lower back as you reach up overhead, stretch your little shoulders and then right back at it. It should actually be feel, feel pretty good. Uh, when we were in Little League, we thought this was probably a dumb warm up. As we are older now, it feels amazing. That's all I did. Football, Good way to warm up those hammies, lower back, shoulders as well as you're reaching up overhead and behind you. So you want to look forward as you're reaching up overhead, so don't slip that head up there and go. Nice work. Let me see you guys at home. One, two, three, and up. Good. I'm going to have you count if we're in a little league too. One, two, three, one. One, two, three, five. Turkish get ups, exact same movement. You can use a little bit of load now since it's lighter weight if you want, or you may continue to do this weightless. Your call, uh, but we're doing six reps. All right, we should be feeling good by now. Stretch, whether you do two arms or one arm at a time, 
okay? What I want you guys to do is that elbow to be slightly above your shoulder height, okay? And then you're just going to step forward. And so what's gonna happen when you step forward, it's gonna force your elbow back, but your chest is gonna come forward and it's gonna stretch out that shoulder, that rotator cuff, as well as that chest. Okay, so you just drive forward, you're gonna hold it for about a minute, and then you're gonna switch your arms, okay? Go for it. Um, I will keep track over here on my end. If you guys can hear me, I'll tell you when to switch.
left hand goes down to touch the ground. Okay, left leg is down, right arm, right hand goes down. All right. So those are our movements for today. Uh, let's go really quick over the weighted movements. Weighted movements are pretty easy. We just went over those. So weighted movements, we're going to do 30 push-ups. We all know how to do push-ups. You can either go from your knees or that straight plank. The second move is going to be that high pull. We have both variations here with either a dumbbell or a kettlebell. You see Arturito right there doing it. Uh, if you're doing a barbell, you see Bill here doing it. Uh, the only thing that I'm really looking for, and I want to make sure that you guys do appropriate, if you want to make sure you're dropping that butt all the way down, go ahead and press, guys. Go ahead and drop that butt all the way down when you're doing the movement. And then stand all the way up to the top. No, it's one to one. So this. The question you to yes. So Karen is asking on those fifty burpee deadlifts. Do you do fifty burpees and then fifty deadlifts? Um, but no, it's actually one burpee into one deadlift. Then the second burpee into the second deadlift. Third burpee into the third deadlift, and so forth until you get to fifty burpees. And Rena is using a wall wall for her burpee deadlift. Yes, and and uh, Rena is using a wall wall for this. That's also a good function. Yep. If you're going to do that, you have to do an ab roll out. <laughs> with the dumbbell? Yeah. Uh, so you have two options with the dumbbell. I would recommend for efficiency purposes is that you grab one dumbbell on one hand and you go into that single arm high pull. That's what I would recommend, single arm high pull. So you're going to do 25 per arm? Yeah. That will really isolate it, uh, and it'll be the most effective, okay? Or the other option is to stand up that, that dumbbell, and then with both hands, just pull it up towards your chest, okay? Uh, I, I prefer going the first way, uh, but if you have a really heavy dumbbell, then you go the second row, okay? Does that answer your question, Rena? Cool. Oh, all right. Uh, so that is... First part, right? 30 push-ups? 30 push Yes, question. Hopefully that clarified it a little bit more. 
Yeah? Good? David, good? Bryant's good? Future Bryant's? <laughs> All right. Cool. Karen? Good? Beautiful. All right. All right, so once again, part number one, three rounds, 30 push-ups and 30 high pulls. That's what we're gonna start off with. 30 push-ups, 30 high pulls. Ready, Arturito? Bill, ready? Yeah, athletes at home, you guys ready? Social media, hopefully you guys are ready too. We're starting off with the workout. We're gonna do three rounds, 30 push-ups, 30 high pulls. Okay, and then as we go, I'll remind you what the rest of the workout Alright, at this point you can just turn up your music. If you're ready to go, and if you cannot do that, turn it up. Yeah. Alright, let's get after it. Good luck, guys. Good luck. Here we go. 10 second countdown. I'm gonna give you guys a 30 minute time cap. Don't think you'll need it. Three, <laughs> two, one, and work. 30 push ups. 30 high pulls, you can go from your knees or you can go from that plank, however you want. Just make sure you're getting full depth. Chest is touching the ground and at the top, your elbows are locking out. Nice work. I recommend you break these up from the beginning. Don't go to failure because you have three rounds of this, okay? Do a comfortable amount of reps, seven reps, 10 reps, 15 reps, whatever you need, where it's comfortable. Take a breather and then go. And Steve Bryant, Moves even is moving. He's already on the table. Military push-ups, like <laughs> huh? Military push-ups. Oh, yeah. <laughs> They're both on the Nice, good work. I believe it's on those high pulls as well. Uh, little advice on these high pulls: make sure that 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 weight goes as close as you can to your midline. Okay, because if not, then you're going to be using your back a little bit too much. So that weight is going to be in between your legs or as close as you can to your midline. Nice work. Moving that bar up, looking strong. Nice, up here we go. Moving that weight easily. Very good. That's all it is, guys. Just drive down. Make sure you're dropping the butt as you do it. And then explosively. Okay. Explosively pull up that weight. per arm on those high pulls. If you're doing single arm, David, good work on that kettlebell, total of 30 reps. Nice work, Linda. Good work, good work, 30 reps. Hitting their second round of push-ups. Looks like Karen is hitting her push-ups as well. chunks guys just chip away at those push-ups you guys should be good to go after the push-up challenge week number one this is money right here <laughs> no should, money. this should be easy no <laughs> First time in the gym in a while. Fully recovered. Well, it's Please, you're wearing a freaking weight vest. Why aren't you wearing your weight vest? <laughs> 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 I just four rounds instead of five. Rounds. Good work, good work. Chuck along. Once again, if you guys are starting to 
feel it on your lower back a little bit, get that weight closer to between your heels. The closer it is between your heels, the less stress you're putting on your lower back. Come on, Bill. Make sure you keep count. Did you lose track? Yes. You did? I have no idea. Just get five. I'd rather do more than it. Well, I'm sure you're beyond the, the five young No, I mean, it's like five and three, three and two. Alright, once you guys are finishing off your third round of the push ups and the high pulls, you're going to two rounds of lunges and sit ups. I think you're good, though. Yeah, I think you're good, though. I got 30 minutes. Yeah. Each step counts as one. 
you can listen to your body. Are 
you have a perfect edit? No. Oh, no. round two? All right. 21. Yeah, good. Come on, Tina. Come on, Tina. Work. There we go, Steven. Steven, turn that dumbbell uh, the other way. Turn it sideways. Makes it easier for you to pick it up. And of course, you probably tried what I said in that, but hopefully you understood what I said. Just trying to get across. There you go, Steven, right there. We are 18 minutes into our workout. <laughs> 18 minutes into our workout. That's a long one. It's Friday. Gotta feel good. Gotta feel good at home. Did you go out and party? Linda, I can't hear you if you're asking something.
Alright guys, keep chucking along. Keep going, keep going. Green, right are you done? Thumbs up? No? Oh, okay. Alright, keep chucking along. Keep going, keep going. Green, right are you done? Thumbs up? No? Oh, okay. Nice, Rita's doing that same option. Switching hands on the way down to my deadlift. That seems like a better she's idea. Thanks, Phil. <laughs> she's doing barbell and she's holding onto the barbell as she comes up and then just stands up with it. Dumbbell. I'm a dumbbell. Yeah. Yeah, we just got that down. Steph, you have to alternate between a burpee and the deadlift to be one rep. She has the same thing if she can do all the burpees and then all the deadlifts. The answer is no. It's one and one. That equals one full movement. Like people like sitting here, like, oh, they're not even trying hard, you know what I mean? But then when you see it like in real time, like that is 90% of, like, of everything that they have. Yeah. Oh, like it like translates it and yeah. it like puts it together. Yeah. yeah. Yes. Go, go, go. I know you guys see our athletes working. It's easy to judge from home it doesn't look that hard, but they are at a 92%, 93% output. <laughs> so they are close to 100% effort, and they are sustaining this for a very long time. I Definitely think got the that type cap should be like 40 minutes. <laughs> Ashley says, nah, it looks hard. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, 24, 25. Oh, 24, 52. I'll give you guys about another minute. 
uh, or two before we log off. For those of you that are still working at home, I need to I'm sorry, guys. Good work, everyone at home. You guys did amazing. Did it's Karen definitely. Finish? Huh? Did Karen finish it? Um, I'm not sure Karen went. Uh, but you guys did amazing. Good work. This is definitely a workout where you want to try to do as a community with other people, especially that last part with the burpees. Uh, so I'm glad you guys joined us. Um, we will be on again today for those of you watching on Facebook and Instagram at 5.30. Um, like I said, this is definitely a workout you want to do with other people as best as possible. So hop on uh, and we'll walk you through that as well. Thank you guys for joining us. How much time do I got? I got about another 15 seconds. Um, send us any questions, comments, anything that you need. Thank you everyone for joining us today. Killed it in front of everybody. Continue to be uh, a great community. I know you guys are inside our walls, but I want you guys to be a good community outside our walls as well. Uh, be safe, stay healthy, and make good choices. Please. All right. Thank you guys. Thank you guys. Have a good Good work. Great work. Yeah.